Hey everyone, Nick here. So today I'm going to be working on restoring this axe. Uh, this is going to be the first axe that I've ever restored and rehung. So this is going to be a fun learning experience for me and hope you guys have fun coming along for the ride. So I'm going to do this video in two parts. In this first part, I'm going to take a look at the axe, see what condition it's in, see if there's any cracks that I haven't seen before, and then we're going to take it off the handle and then clean up the axe head. In the next video, I'm going to be reshaping the new handle that I bought and then rehanging this axe. So, let's get started. The axe head's pretty pristine. I mean, you can still see the original sticker it had on it is still mostly there. So the back of the axe head is a little mushroomed over. It looked like it was probably hit by a splitting maul or a sledgehammer. So what I'm going to be doing is flattening this out and truing up the sides. It would be fine if I left it as is and I wouldn't lose any weight, but I really want this to look nice so I'm just going to take that down a little bit. I'm going to try to take this handle off. Now you can see that it doesn't appear to have a wood wedge, but it's got a steel wedge in there. And this probably loosened up over time, so you can tell that somebody really drove that wedge in there. And I don't think I'll be able to pull that wedge out. So if you look, there's a little bit of a space here, and the axe head does seem just a tiny bit loose. I'm going to see if I can drive the handle out through the top. If I can, that'll be great. If not, I'll probably just cut right underneath the axe head and then drive the handle out upwards. Alright, so I've got the axe propped up on my tool stand. I've got a little piece of wood here that'll fit into the eye. I'm going to see if I can drive this out. So here we go. Alright. So, it's moving. Well, it's not moving anymore, so I'm going to go and, with my coping saw, just cut along here, and then we'll try to drive the rest of the handle out the other way. Alright, I've got the head supported on a wooden anvil stand. And I'm going to see if I can drive it out. Looks like it's coming out in pieces. And there it is. Alright. Now I'm just going to go and wire brush it, clean it up, and see what we have to work with. So here are the handle pieces. You can see it was just two steel wedges from the top. It looked like one long wedge, but it's just two smaller steel wedges. I'm going to go ahead and wire brush this, get all the paint off, and get some of this rust off. So here it is after wire brushing. The patina is a little uneven because there was paint in spots, but I think it's looking pretty good. I'm not really going to do much to the body of this axe. But I think I'm going to go on the grinder, clean this up, clean off the back, true it up a little bit. I'm going to lose a little weight, but I think I'll be happier with the way this looks with this cleaned up. So I'm going to start on the grinder and just very lightly knock the high spots down and then I'm going to switch to my belt sander to smooth this out and match the scratch pattern that already exists on the axe head. So here we go. So 
So now that I've ground it down to where it should be, I'm going to take it to the belt sander. I'm starting off with an 80 grit belt and I'm going to go as light as I can just so I can remove these grind marks and get everything even. Then I'm going to switch to a higher grit. So here we go. Alright, here it is, rough sanded, and I'm going to go up to a 120 grit. So now I'm going to use the wire brush to help blend some of this out. I file in the profile and then afterward file in the bevels. Once everything's nice and rounded, I use 220 grit sandpaper to blend all my lines and sharpen up the edge. So now I use a Scotch Bright metal pad and not heavy but just lightly rub down the whole surface to smooth everything out and make the finish a little more uniform. So here's the accent after a coat of paste wax. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So here it is. I've gone ahead and thrown the axe head back on its old handle just so I can see what it looks like. So that's it for part one. In the next video, I'm going to be reshaping the new handle and then hanging this axe. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.